last name Kerrigan, first name Nancy. Nancy, welcome, my friend, to the tournament. Hey, Abby. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Hear what you're going to say um, to introduce me. That was that was definitely something special. Boy, um, but my dad was always there for me. Sharpened at a place about a half hour that direction. And the free skates, I liked them. Sharpened at a different place over there. And so he was driving all over the place for me. Um, and Avi, great job. This is oh. interesting and different. And many of you predict that he will win the entire thing. That prediction? Guys and gals might stick. So let's welcome a Hall of Famer and friend. Last name Barry. First name Rick. Welcome, my friend, to the second round reveal show. Are you, you write interviews like that for everybody? My God, how do you have the time to do that? That's just crazy. Rick Barry, guys and gals, will make a case for why the 1969 moon landing was the most unforgettable televised moment in history. 100 million people, they say watched the landing on the moon and the first steps by Neil Armstrong. When we go head to head, if I beat you, Howard Collado's show belongs to me. We call it the JW Hour. So if it's really a 10, I'll put something on the line as well. That's fair. If I lose, then both myself and Avi are out of the tournament. What? I think it's only fair that yours truly now has to face a stipulation. JW suggested it, I will sanction it. Are you okay with this? And if I don't remain as fair as I always am, what kind of a competitor am I? I just want you to know the word brother it still means a lot to me. Mind games, are you looking to just make me that much better when big, fat, independent pro wrestling guy kelly white laser focus do you think for a second big man that i'm gonna let a nothing nobody never was never has been beat me for thirteen thousand dollars and a trip for two degrees you're out of your stupid mohawk mind They have the time machine, Mike and Dan. Which historical figure accompanies you on this trip? Why did you select them? And B, who, where, and when will the two of you be visiting? I would go back in the time when Jesus Christ was being crucified. And first of all, I would try to help him and I would ask him to come with me. Back to early 2023 to save my son's life. I talked to Glenn Sather and we decided that I made a trip to Betty Ford, which probably one of the best things that happened in my life where, and that was the biggest thing. And that was the hardest thing is to look at yourself and realize that you had to find something that you loved. And I'd forgotten to love myself. If a painter decided to paint the happiest day of your life, what would it look like and why? Uh, when I was uh, young, I was my first year at University of Texas. I got pregnant. During that time, you, there were no abortions. You'd go to Mexico, get a coat hanger. You know, it just wasn't, you just, one night, my dad came upstairs and said, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, aren't you? And I said, yes. And he brought my mother up. They just held me. There was no judgment. My dad's brother, one of his children, she and her husband couldn't have children, so they adopted my child. So the doctor, this is my moment. The doctor said, he's coming out. Reach down. And I reached down and I pulled him out of my body and put him on my chest. And it was just, the whole, the whole story was just. A perfect. This is different. Well, I don't even know where you come up with these questions. <laughs> I want to find these kids. You so innovative. <laughs> We've 
already won because we're going to have a great conversation with great human beings. Again, strangers become friends. We're winners already. Let's bring in Mr. Jamie. Jamie, Eric, and Eliza. Eliza and Eric. Jamie. Hey, Eric, Eliza. Hey. How are you guys doing? Good, good, good. We're Thank doing you, great. No matter what, we're inviting your wife to come on location with us next time we go anywhere. Oh, there we go. Do I, am I coming to, to uh, just my wife? I mean, it's, there's two. I mean, just, <laughs> I mean, anyway, yeah. Uh, You're going to get the invites, I'm assuming, uh, Jamie, but I'll tell you this. Good much. guys in this great industry. Guys, this is Mr. John Amos. Uh, this is Mr. Tone Loke. And this is Miss Miranda. And they're all on screen as you hear right now. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Hey, you know what? Hi, Miranda. To John Amos. Man, you are the coolest man. Good times. One of my OG favorite shows, man, from way back in the day. You, 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 you're beautiful down there, sweetheart. But I got to give John Amos his major prop. It's an honor to be on screen with you both. Thank you, Tom. Back at you, buddy. Respect, my brother. All in, guys. Ramon, Stephen, Eddie Johnson on screen for the first time. Good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening gentlemen. Hello. Gentlemen. Be nice. Be nice to me tonight, man. <laughs> hey, you were just dissing my beard, man. No, I'm, I, you need to grow it a little bit more if you're going to be a hippie. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, this mustache is definitely an, an intimidation factor. So, y'all better watch out. That last round, uh, Ramon's story. She was going through um, a gender change. There was one friend who wasn't all for it and it was mostly for religious reasons ramon's story just really killed me and and i have a couple friends who were in the same situation you're a beautiful person i love you and i'm proud of you thank you so Great much job, ramon. thank you to both of you it was really good to be here with like what felt like mentors and <laughs> So, like I told you that this show uh, should be on mainstream television because it's the only show that I've ever been a part of that I feel like is actually solving the world's problems through the fact that you have people that are experts. You have people that's beyond what an expert is. Don't, don't speak to me like that. I'm not, I'm there was controversy with how we reported the war. There was controversy because there was inconsistent leadership. And let's take it back. Let's go chronological. Why not? Why don't we talk about the fact that when Eisenhower gave his farewell address in January 61, he warned, he warned John F. Kennedy. He told him, don't betray your military. Clinton's victims. No, 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 I'm, not, no, I'm sorry. Bill Clinton's not running. Controversy uh, should lie in the fact that fathers were shooting at uncle. Brothers were shooting at cousin. I think the controversy in this is... We, we talked about money over people's lives. So I understand. And I, and listen, I, 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 got, I'm I don't at, sweet, Eric, And I look at it five last years. year. You some of the judges' comments sing. Some of the comments sting. Some of what you guys have said stings, <laughs> right? But the way I approach everything is, what if what he was saying is right? What would you do about it? There's the match. So the collaboration for social advancement is everything, but it ain't for everybody. But for me, it was coming back from Vietnam after a year. And at the end of the corridor was my mother, my father, and my sister and her husband and their dog, Barney, a little cocker spaniel. And uh, my sister's husband let the dog go and the dog came running to me and embraced me. And, um, that was the happiest day of my life. Got, we got back on our feet again, substantially in a financial way. I really owe it to that young lady, Amanda, who's become a family friend now. But my father passed away. She's an only child. Her mother had passed away. She didn't have any family. She asked me to walk her down the aisle. That's the part. That's the part that changed. But uh, I remember that, um, you know, the, the state patrol they sent down, there were six, six or eight, uh, you know, troopers that went through trooper school with my dad and they were pallbearers for my dad's funeral. And I remember the, um, one of the, the high ranking officials from the state patrol came and spoke at my dad's funeral. He just said, my dad's name was Harold Lloyd. He said, 
he said, I, as I stand here today in front of all of you, I don't know who Harold Lloyd's best friend is or who his friend, best friend was. He said, but I know there's several people here today who consider Harold Lloyd their best friend. And, you know, it just, uh, man, I tell you, boy, it really, it just hit me in a way that nothing ever had about that someone, you know, would say that about, you know, my dad. I think you've, I think, I think that you've done a fabulous job and I have not met an interviewer like you, you know, nor neither have I had some of these questions that, that really sort of, you know, went very deep into my heart, that last one. The question is, David, if the very first moments of your life included opening credits with a song that everyone could hear, what song would you select for your opening credits and why? And if your very last day alive included closing credits with a song that all could hear, what song would you select for your closing credits? And uh, Mr. Murphy, can you name three possessions that reflect who you are as a person? Topic number two, guys and gals and pals, is something I call vacation with history. Which historical figure would you like to have a company to visit someone who's no longer alive in present time? Who will you both be visiting? When and why? There's always historical figures around us. And in this case, they're right there in the physical sense. Mike and Dan will select one historical figure to accompany them on a very important voyage. Every single week, it was always just uh, uh, the question of like, okay, is so somebody going to die this week? First of all, it's Ramon versus Eddie Johnson and Tobolowski. Man, it's going to be a massive match. Another night for the Celebrity Tournament. Round two is off in full effect. Tonight, who's going to come out on top in our triple threat elimination matchup? All right. I think Lope got takes this one. I feel we all got along. I feel if we all got along, we would always do what's best for humanity which could give us some of the answers we seek since life would mean more than money at that point. Very well put, so there's a vote for Tone Lope. Eddie Johnson, NBA legend, he's bringing facts and charisma, but can he charm himself for this victory tonight? And of course, last but not least, engine member Ramon, he's got a David and Goliath situation, more like David and two Goliaths. I can't tell you how refreshing it is that somebody knows what they're doing. Did you have fun? You've done a ton of these. Did you have a lot of fun tonight? Well, yeah, it was completely different. I mean, it's not like a podcast at all. But you showed us your heart and soul, and I appreciate that. And I really do love what you're doing, and it's, it's so different and unique. You know, it's not like uh, your everyday podcast. Hey, it was, a, it was a fun time. I love the questions. Honestly, like that perspective i think we all need to think about you know we need to think differently and you're helping us do that Coming into this TKN um, extravaganza, what what an incredible oh, thank you. marketplace and and. Oh, I, I salute you for for everything you represent. Boy, you do your homework. Whoa! <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's terrific and it's fun and, and keep bringing diverse personalities together. I think that's great. And it's also wonderful to hear people talk sanely to each other today.